mio, bene mio auxilio. Santísima Trinidad, un solo Dios. Ten piedad. Por nuestro Padre San Ignacio, fundador de la Compañía de Jesús. Gracias, Señor. Por San Francisco Javier, patrono de las misiones y apóstol de la India. Gracias, Señor. Por San Pedro Fabro, primer compañero de San Ignacio. Gracias, Señor. Por San Estanislao de Cosca, patrono de nuestros novicios. Gracias, Señor. Por los santos Luis Gonzaga y Juan Bergman, patronos de la juventud. Gracias, Señor. Por San Alfonso Rodríguez, patrono de los hermanos. Gracias, Gracias Señor. Cristo en la India. Gracias, Señor. Por San Alberto Hurtado, apóstol de los jóvenes y pobres en Chile. Gracias, Señor. Por San Santiago Bertieu, mártir, y por el Beato Juan Pesín, siervo de los leprosos de Madagascar. Gracias, Señor. Por los Beatos Leo Mangin, Paul Den, Modesto Andlao y Remy Isorey, mártires en China. Gracias, Señor. Por todos los santos y diatos de la Compañía de Jesús. Gracias, Señor. Por los mártires del Salvador. Por Nicolás Cleiters, mártir en el Líbano. Por Richie Fernando, educador de los jóvenes en Camboya. Por Franz Vanderloo, mártir en Siria. Por la vida del Padre Pedro Arrupe y tantos otros padres, hermanos, escolares y novicios de la Compañía de Jesús que nos precedieron en la fe con su testimonio de vida. Le agradecemos,
there are very few people who realize what God would make of them if they abandon themselves entirely to his hands and let themselves be formed by his grace. A thick and shapeless tree trunk would never believe that it could become a statue, admired as a miracle of sculpture, and it would never consent to submit itself to the chisel of the sculptor, who, as St. Augustine says, sees by his genius what he can make of it. Many people who we see now scarcely live as Christians do not understand that they could become saints if they would let themselves be formed by the grace of God, if they did not ruin his plans by resisting the work which he wants to do. In this life, a thing is good only in the degree in which it serves eternal life, and it is evil in that degree in which it makes us turn aside and away from it. In this way, the soul, suffering contradictions on this earth, enlightened and purified by the eternal dew, builds its nest on the heights, concentrates all its desires on the search for Christ crucified, since after being crucified in this life, we'll rise to life with him in the next.
God of all blessing, by your grace you have formed saints in the society of Jesus through the centuries. Form us by your grace that we might be your faithful and joyful disciples. Bless us with your wisdom this day and in all our deliberations, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. It was brought to my attention that the Caesar is also leaving on Monday, so we thank you for his service.